Welcome to Hangout Cafe. I'm super excited because today I'm here to meet a woman who is passionate about what she does and she has inspired me and numerous other women to also start to do what she does. I'm not telling you about it yet. But um, today I have the distinct pleasure of welcoming to Hangout Cafe, Joyce Okumboa. Welcome to Hangout Cafe. You. Thank you. And thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Um, okay. Okay. So tell us a about yourself. Yes. Okay. So my name is Joyce Okungola. I'm a mother. Um, I'm a grandmother. Ooh. I'm an advocate. Yes. But I'm a survivor of domestic violence. So I'm an advocate as well. I have um, an NGO. Um, okay. In addition to that, I also do project management and um, I, I sell. I'm into realtor. realtor. I'm a realtor. Um, I do that as well, so numerous things, yeah. Wow, you're a grandmother. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, saying I don't know what grandmothers are supposed to look like nowadays, so, but you tell me like someone who's had, who has a grandchild. Oh, is it one or two do they have? Just one, a granddaughter. Okay, granddaughter, okay. So, um, Joyce, I follow your page what's your page called my life mj's lifestyle fitness mj lifestyle fitness this woman she exercises well as far as i know daily and she's inspired me to you know every day get going do something move your body but let's start at the beginning what initially inspired you to start this journey of um exercise Okay, so a roll back to 2020, um, the year of the dreaded COVID. Um, COVID was coming and I was at home just before Nigeria went into lockdown and I was watching a, um, a news release on um, Sky and it was showing the number of casualties that they had, had had already and we were waiting to go into lockdown and I had a full blown panic attack. I was alone at home, my family were in the UK, so it was just me and my housekeeper and locked up we're going to be locked up we knew that locked down yeah. and i had a full bone panic attack and something i think it was the holy spirit just said to me the only way where you'll get through this is by working out and mm -hmm. that's how i started to work out you know um and i started so we went into lockdown and we couldn't if i remember we couldn't leave the house between certain hours but right. immediately after we were allowed to walk to go out i started walking Okay. So I walked every single day throughout the throughout the lockdown. That's how I started. <laughs> so you started walking. Then how did you get into the other things that you do? Okay. So then a friend of mine who was in Abuja um, called me. She was in a kind of a panic attack as well, just around the same time. Yeah. And I said to her, we need to start working out. And she said, okay. She was locked at home as well. So I said, yeah. okay, we'll do it together. Okay. And um, she was in Abuja. I said, what we'll do is we'll share videos and... Um, so we'll be accountable to one another. Um, so right. we did, you know, every day we'd, we'd walk and then we'd, we'd share videos, we'd walk and we'd share videos. And then I started to share it amongst my, just my inner friends, my inner family, my, my friends. And one day I shared it to a younger friend. You know how your younger friends always ginger you up. And she said, Sis, <laughs> well done, but you need to carry weights. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And she said, no, do your research, you know, weights as you get older. Because my, my thought was, if you get carry weights, you're going to be buffed. And I certainly didn't want to look buff. Definitely. Um, so I did my research and I saw that, wow, as we actually get older, yes. we must carry weights. Um, and so the next the next day, I went out and I bought my weights and I started weight training at home. During This was all during the lockdown. We went to mm -hmm. like, so the gyms were locked. Okay. Um, and that's how I started weight weight training as well. So it's interesting you talked about um, as you get older, you need to carry weight because I was talking to one of my older mentors, um, Dr. Nizzo, the other day, and it was exactly what he said, what you said, mm -hmm. is that the muscles start to waste, I think, when we get mm -hmm. older. He gave an right. example about somebody that he went to see and the person, there's nothing wrong with this person, but that the muscles, because he, oh, I just can't remember was he or she now, was not, had not been uh, moving a lot. So it's so, so. Please talk a bit more about this, if you if you can, because I don't okay, think so, we have importance. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, when, when I was growing up, I used to notice the elderly, like us now, um, yeah. used to kind of shrink. 
you know, you'd see somebody who was beginning to shrink. And I used to wonder why they shrink. It must be age. But apparently, and, I'm, and I, I mean, I'm not a, a doctor or anything, but from my own research, this is why you have to build up your body mass. So when you, I mean, apparently research has shown that 65% of us will fall during our time of being 50 to 65. Yes. And the falls are what dislodge your, your bones. And the healing process is what a lot of elderly people don't recover from. And that is when you see people having a slip disc, a knee yes. and all of that. But when you weight train, your bones become stronger. Right. You can, your joints become stronger as well. So that when you do fall, and trust me, I've fallen, you, get, you, you heal much easier or you don't even break your bones at all or nothing actually happens to you. And that is the, I cannot overemphasize how important it is to weight train because, and you know, it just does so many things. For example, before I started weight training, yes. I, when I used to kneel down, say I kneel down to pray, I have yeah. to use something to balance myself to get up. <laughs> yes. I don't do that anymore because I've been weight training. I can get up, you know, and then when I go to church, I see a lot of women struggle or they're holding on to someone saying, how old me up, you know? So it does really make your body, your bones stronger. And yeah. the older you get, yeah. the, it's so important that that, you know, that has to be incorporated into your lifestyle workout plan as well you know that thing is so true because even it's not just standing up even sitting down sometimes you have to <laughs> adjust. <laughs> adjust yourself yes yeah. adjust yourself. okay so that's the physical benefit what about the mental benefit of so, exercise of exercising so for me um prior to even starting to work out i used to be prone to depression as well and okay. um and I, like I said, I had a panic attack, a full blown panic attack. But I can tell you that since I started working working out, that they have reduced considerably. I won't say they've completely gone because I think from time to time we all go through phases where you're kind of depressed, but yeah. it's not as um, prolonged and it's not as 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 it used to be. Um, right. So it really yeah. does working out really does help me that way. It balances, and I've heard so many people say that as well. You know, it's just it just helps me when I go to even if I'm having a bad start to the morning. Once I get to the gym and I work out, be it cardio, be it weights, whatever it is, I just feel like I can take on the world. And, you know, research will tell you that the, you know, the sort of messages that the um, exercise tends to your brain makes you feel happier. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it really, really does work for mental health as well. So it's not all about the, you know, the people say, oh, because you want to look slim. And no, there are loads of benefits to working out apart from the looking slim. Mentally, okay. it does such a good job. For anybody that is struggling with any mental, you know, like depression, anxiety, panic yeah. attacks, those sort of things, it really does help. Well, what about if someone says, okay, I hear what you're saying, Joyce, but I am unable to get to the gym. But I guess you said when you were at home, you were still doing all those things. Yeah. Um, at least lifting weight. So you, um, what's the, what do they call this thing? Um, dumbbells. And, dumbbells. And and yes. yes. So you can still so, do that at home. Yes. And, you know, so when people say to me, oh, you know, first of all, they say that I can't go to the gym, like you said, I can't afford a gym, I can't get a trainer. You don't have to. You know, okay. I started, another thing that I did when I was in lockdown is I got an online trainer. Myself and my friend, we got an online trainer because there's only so much that you can do if you're not, if you're not with a trainer, because we're not, you know, when I wasn't trained to, to be a trainer. So I went online and I found a lady who I really enjoyed and I used to follow her religiously. So my right. point is, you can do it in the comfort of your house. Even for the equipment, you can get bottled water. You know, you can get bottles of water. You can get heavy objects. If you say, you're, you're, you know, I see people say, oh, but I've got bad hips. Or I've got bad knees. You can sit down. There's lots of exercise you can do just sitting yeah. down. You don't need to do exert yourself if you don't think you have the energy to. But there's yeah. really no excuse for you not trying to work out in some form of the other, or the other. Whether it's at home, you can do just as much as home as you can do in the gym. Okay, so ladies, you don't need to go to the gym. You can actually do. And I, I guess because the challenge is people might say, like you rightly said, I can't afford it. Um, I can't get to the gym. What about working, the benefits of working? So the benefits of, of walking are also underrated. I think weight, well, walking does such an immense job on the body as well. Um, the recommended number of steps is 10,000 steps a day. Yes. Um, and you can do that within two hours of your you know schedule and you can do it in your estate that's how we started walking you know um right. it's not as of course it's not as the benefits of work, work walking are not as much as the benefits of weight training as you grow right. older but
but it's yeah. a good start. I always say just start walking anyway, if, if that's the way you want to start. You know, and it's and I know, and I'm not sitting here thinking, saying to everyone, it's easy. It's it's not easy. I know how. Before it became a lifestyle for me, it, it was just a habit, and that those are two different things, you know. But walking, I would suggest, is a good way for anybody who seems to be struggling to at least get started. At least start walking within your estate, within your vicinity. You don't have to go far. So I guess the thing is, first of all, get moving, right? Move your Absolutely. body. Move. And does that have to be every day, at least every day? Every day, every day you have to move your body the older you get. You know, I see on Instagram 30-year-olds and 14-year-olds saying that they're getting old. And I'm <laughs> like, how can you be How can you be old at 30 and 40? In fact, this morning before I came online, I saw a 30-year-old woman say, you know you're getting old when, and I'm like, wow. But, you know, the more you move your body, I guess it's just like an engine, right? If you don't yeah. start your car, engine for a number of days or months or weeks so we know true. what's going to happen it's the same thing with your body if you're not moving you you know even for me that works out if i go away and i don't work out for a period of time maybe a week or two i come yeah. back and i have to start all over again mm -hmm. so that's the way the body works the more you you know move it the more you know agile you are the more exercise the fitter you are but once you stop the tendencies are it's going to go back to where you are again so Absolutely. imagine if you're not moving at all, you yeah. know, you're really going to be putting a lot of stress on the organs that are working and are not being flushed out. You know, the circulation is not being pumped out. All mm -hmm. the things that are happening when you're working out are not are not going to happen. So, that's so really the tips, when, when you were talking about the car, I just thought it's true. If you leave a car for uh, weeks and you don't yes. move it, it's going to come rusty. And that's the same it's thing the same. with everybody. <laughs> It's the same. And, you know, for me, one of the good things about my working out, especially weight training, was my knees. My, because research will tell you again that your knees are the first thing to age, right? Our knees are the first thing to go. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, but they've become much stronger. You know, I can do so many things, so much with them now. Whereas before, I was so scared because I felt they were the first things that I'm going to have to lose. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you know, if you don't use your knees, if, you're, if they're not being, what, what, what we should, you know, who wants to be housebound at 60 70 or 80 god yeah. forbid right I mean, so the only way to do that is you need to oil them you need to keep them going you need to strengthen them yeah. and the only way to do that is through exercise fortunately unfortunately i must confess i only walk i try to walk <laughs> at least every day but Good. now <laughs> and the thing is before the lockdown i used to I had a, a trainer who i used mm. to go to but i just i just didn't like um you know having to leave yeah. to eight and all of that yeah. I thought I found walking, but since uh, watching you and even listening to you today, mm -hmm. and uh, my mentor that I said, I yeah. know that I need to do more than just walking. Yes. So I'm going to yes. try and fit that into. Yes, and I have a lot of a lot of most feedback because I get a lot of people at uh, my age inboxing me, inboxing me. They won't say it publicly, yeah. and they say the same thing. You know, we walk. Is that enough? And I just say walking is fantastic. I'm not going to sit here and say, well, walking is beautiful. I walk. I love walking. But it's not enough as we grow right. older. Yeah. So yeah. We, we have to bear that in mind. Wow. Okay. I have to. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But also, you know, I keep um, thinking about the confidence that comes with when you're exercising, when you feel fit. And I love the fact that with everything that you do, there's humor. Please talk to us about that. <laughs> so... So I, I decided I was going to reinvent myself. You know, I didn't want to be this typical 55, 57 year old woman who then thinks that, the, you know, the life has come to an end. And one thing I've always been told is I'm funny. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I really wanted to go into that at some point in my life, but it just never happened. Okay. So when I looked at the things that I still want to do on my bucket list, it was humor. And I, and I love laughing. Anybody that knows me knows that I love a good laugh. You know, I love to laugh hysterically. I really think it's really therapeutic as well. And I right. think people don't laugh enough, especially in Nigeria, where we're all under so much pressure to succeed and look for money. And so I decided that I'm going to also incorporate humor into it because everybody likes humor, right? Yeah. And everybody yeah. likes to laugh. And yeah. so I decided, okay, Considering the, top, the sort of discussions I have with my friends, oh, my head, oh, today my stomach, oh, are you experiencing this? Oh, is your hair falling out? Oh, can you see well? I, that's where the humor came in, you know, something to, you know, tone down for the day on, on Fridays. And that's why I do that on Fridays as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's really good. It's really good. And I'm going to put your um, handle 
on yeah. so that people can follow you and see some of the things that some you of the things I've done. I'm sure I'm embarrassing my son, but he he's just like mom, <laughs> you know, that thing that you just posted. <laughs> <laughs> so we know that exercise is good for your um, self-confidence and well, self-esteem and confidence. Um, can you give us an example of how you've benefited personally from that? Okay. So, and one thing, you know, um, people see me work out and then this, yeah. for example, let me go back. So summer, I spent it with my six year old granddaughter and everybody okay. knows who's, how, how children are. They're full of energy and I'm at home alone with her. And I thought that I was super fit. You try being with a six-year-old. And then, you know, when they dash, can you keep up with them? You know, can you carry them when they're tired? Because we went out a lot. It was just me and her. Went shopping. Grandma, can you carry me? And I just thought to myself, if I wasn't working out, mm. I would never have been able to keep up with this girl. That's you know, I, I, I would never have. I'd never be able to carry her. You know, there were times we got to the station and the stairs were steep. Or you have to hold her and carry her up. You know, so it's not even just for the aesthetics for me now. I want, you know, I want to be able to keep up with my my kids and my granddaughter as well as she grows older. And if there are any more to come, I'd like to keep up. So I don't want to be a, a grandmother who's going to be saying, say, okay, pass me this, pass me that. You know, my grandmother had a table. You had to put everything beside her. She would say, eh, bami, mubo, bo, then she'll put it down. Then, then you can go, you know, because she couldn't move. She wasn't agile, but then they didn't know better but you know you see 60 year olds 70 year olds and you know see kate henshaw who's an inspiration to me see what they're doing so for me i had just decided that i wasn't going to be one of those grand those grandmothers who would just sit there and say pass me everything no i want to be able to travel with you i want to be able to have fun you know and do and even work out with you if possible who knows you know so personally those are the benefits that i have personally apart from my mental obviously and then there's there's such a good feeling when you can put clothing on and they fit all way round, all round. Yes. It's yes. Just yes. an ama amazing, amazing, amazing feeling for me personally, you know, so that's another benefit because, you know, I've also been overweight before. Um, so I know how it's, how it is both ways. Yeah. So. And it's, it's what you just said, I remember my trainer used to say, it's not just about you, this exercise, it's about your grandchildren, being able to play with your grandchildren and take them to places. It's so Absolutely. true. It is. Honestly, I, I spent five five weeks with her. Yeah. Um, at the end, I was happy that to give her back to her parents. <laughs> she, took out, she took out the energy from me. Honestly, it was really, and that's why I just said to God, I'm so grateful that I found this journey and that I've made it a lifestyle because yeah. if I hadn't, I wouldn't have enjoyed my summer with her. I wouldn't have been able to do anything with her. That's the truth, you know? So yeah, that's an amazing benefit from, from this lifestyle. And you know, when you talked about the weight of clothes fitting you properly, I just thought it's also better to exercise and be consistent that all this um, diet fab that we do, where for three weeks you're not eating and you, you lose the weight, but then it comes back. So yeah. has so, food, did you have to change your diet? Um, so I'm going to talk about two things. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about the fads. There's no fad that I didn't try when I was younger. You name it, we did it, you know, and I can tell you now that none of them worked. You put yourself through all this stress, you stress yeah. your body and mm -hmm. it really doesn't have a long-term benefit because it's not sustainable. You cannot eat like that and sustain it. Right. What we've now found out that is that food is actually 95% of your, should be 95% of your lifestyle, your healthy lifestyle, which means what you put in yeah. is more, even more important than exercising. It's more important than exercising. Exercising just helps to um, balance it up and make you look well and make you feel well and make you know your insides healthy, the healthy lifestyle. So yeah. yes, what I've had to do is I have also personally had to overhaul my, my eating habits. Mm -hmm. I now... I, uh, so some of the things I do is I, I, I try to never eat after 7 p.m. That's a, that's just it for me. I've been trying no. that. I've been trying no. that. <laughs> <laughs> I will never eat after 7 p.m. The only times I will is if I find myself maybe in a function or it's very unusual for me to eat after 7 p.m. I, wow. eat, I try and eat more because when you're weight training, you're supposed to eat more vegetables and protein. So I stick to that. And I have my sin days, which are the weekends where I have my rice, uh, my bread, my yam. But okay. Monday to Friday, I'm very, very. I work. I, I really try as much as possible to watch what I, what I, what I eat. Okay. Um, yeah, food is. So do you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner? 
So, okay, so now you've caught me up. So right now I've actually turned to, um, I've done this um, raw food challenge which okay. since I got back from the UK. So I'm only on... on, somebody, on, somebody, on one, somebody that I follow on Instagram is doing that. Yeah, I, mean, I saw I somebody... Is it... Um, yes, I think, no, I saw somebody called... Uh, Lightly. No, 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 no. Salt. I was a salt. Her name's Salt. You may know her. She mm. was on Instagram. I saw it on her page. And then okay. I, I inboxed her and asked her about it because I've been trying to detox as well since I came back right. from holiday and I ate all the junk and I put on weight and I was bloated. And so now I, so typically I won't eat breakfast. No, I, I, I fast before, I don't eat anything before 12. Okay. Then I'll have my lunch at 12, which right. will consist of protein and vegetables. And then I'll have my dinner, which could okay. be a salad or this is during the week, a salad um, and protein as well. Or right. I typically stay away from carbs during the week. And then okay. you know, eat eat that over over the weekend. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So with this raw food challenge, you yes. you have in fact what I saw. I think um, was it bananas? Yes. So um, the, the key word for the raw food diet is raw. So everything we've eaten now for the last twelve days. Today's day day twelve for me is yeah. raw. So the breakfast is just a bowl of fruit. Or, or um, chai seeds. You can mix chai seeds in water and have that as well. Okay. And lunch is typically a salad or, and dinner is a salad as well with no protein. So the salad has to be just avocado, tomatoes, onions, anything raw. And then for snacks, you can snack on um, on um, nuts. Nuts, okay. So nothing <laughs> cooked at all. Nothing cooked, nothing cooked. But the health benefits have been totally amazing. And that really? was why I... I just take it the health benefits I cannot even begin to, to what tell have you me. noticed what have you noticed okay so I used to suffer from something called acid reflux really bad acid reflux completely okay. gone completely wow. gone bowel movements amazing amazing wow. when I say amazing you can go to the loo I'm sorry to be a bit crude for your number two maybe three or four times a day okay uh, wow. and then you know you're flushing out your system you sleep well my skin is clearer I used to have something called brain fog all gone Whoa. all gone okay. so it's worth trying i would advocate anybody who, who wants to give it a go to, to give it a go it's really really good okay i will i'll think about that <laughs> it's not for the faint-hearted i know it's not for the faint-hearted oh, and then the weight loss i won't even talk about that <laughs> you talked about i'm um, not eating before 12 so is that intermittent fasting that you do yes. every day yes so i do the window of 12 to 7 12 to 7. 7, okay. Yeah. I, I do that too, and I, I, I find it very beneficial. It's quite beneficial. It is, it is. That's very another thing we can get into. Okay, so let's talk about, just to help people, um, mm -hmm. especially people who are busy, how do you manage um, the exercise process? Do you go first thing in the morning? Do you do it in the evening? Or how do you, what do you do? So that's the key thing that I get. Oh, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I'm so busy. But let me play a scenario. God forbid that any lifestyle, you know, um, condition or, or, or ailment came today or tomorrow and yeah. one is in hospital. That work that you're so diligently running after, you yeah. will not be able to do anything, anything at all. You know, I watched my dad. My dad was ill for a very long time. And I watched him go from this independent man to this, mm. you know, man who then died of his ailment. And one thing he said to me, he said, I would never have given, I wouldn't wish this on my on my enemy. And that struck in my mind. And I just thought, if, if, I, if God forbid anyone is bedridden, everything we're running around for, everything becomes, it's irrelevant. Absolutely. So for me, you have to, the same type, type, type of time that you put into the working looking for money, looking after the kids, you have yeah. to now prioritize and give yourself at least 45 minutes. And I don't care what you do. Everyone can find 45 minutes in their day to work out. Not everybody's a morning person. I'm a morning person. I want to get it over and done with so I can be alert. I can start the day. I'm on a high. But I understand that not everybody can find the time. You know, I see people in my estate walking at seven, eight, nine at night. So you can find the time if it's yeah. a priority to you. And this is where the difference between a lifestyle comes in. I didn't understand what they meant by lifestyle for a long time. But mm -hmm. if it is truly part of your lifestyle, just like getting okay, up. Do, do, someone, 
just like you said, you didn't understand mm -hmm. what a lifestyle, what is a lifestyle? The lifestyle is something that you incorporate in your daily routine regardless. So it becomes just as important as you brushing your teeth, as you yeah. getting dressed, as you going for your meetings, as you do, you know, going to the market, you have to have a window in that lifestyle where you have put exercise and working out. It's just as important like as that. For example, when I went on holiday for the first time in my years, ever since I've been born, I got yeah. I, I registered in a gym. Immediately I landed in London, I registered in a gym with my son because it's my lifestyle, because I couldn't do a whole week, month of being yeah. somewhere and not working out. That is when you know that it has truly become your lifestyle. It's fantastic. Wow. Amazing. Okay, in just your journey of um, daily exercise, have you encountered setbacks or challenges? Um, and how did you overcome them, if any at all? Any. Okay, so the, the downside is when, well, I wouldn't even say it's a bit of a downside, it's when people say, what is she trying to do? Doesn't she know she's old? What is all this, you know, why the stress? You know, a friend of mine called me, she said, eh. <laughs> you both and, tell you and say this, or are they friends that say this to you? <laughs> and friends, family, friends and family. You know, in fact, I had to, I blocked my uncle because he kept saying, stop doing all this. Don't you know you're going too old? Da, 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 da. So I blocked him. So you do, you, funny enough, you do get a lot of that. I had a friend of mine that said, oh, she called me one day. She goes, oh. I, I'm sure you're in the gym. I said, yeah. She said, you, this woman, you won't kill yourself. But anyway, when I see your videos, I go and get my own workout too and I start working out. So I'm like, okay, so it's a good thing. So people can be, you know, Nigerians, we can be very judgmental. Yeah. So yeah. we are very judgmental. And they, I, I've had that, you know, people are like, what is she doing? Why the stress? Why are you putting us, you know, you're putting me under pressure. Somebody has even said to me, you put me under pressure before, you know, and, and that's <laughs> certainly not my intention to put anybody under pressure. It's just to encourage people to go out and make this a lifestyle that's what it is so that's that's the downside really but okay nothing to worry about. <laughs> well, you've not had any physical um any pains or aches or anything uh, from no no the only thing is obviously when you work out you you're prone to um injuries okay. um injuries yes you can sometimes when you're pushing yourself you don't realize that you know maybe you're pushing yourself a bit too much you've carried a weight that and you, your posture wasn't too right maybe yeah. you, you know you didn't stand with your back straight but you heal from those injuries anyway so it's nothing nothing life threatening but again at our age yes i would advise if you are going to start weight training do it professionally at first make sure you get your posture right make sure you get the right sort of equipment yeah um and the right sort of feet footwear as well so that um you don't do yourself injury that's not what this is all about you know great okay one other question what role does having a positive mindset play in this thing oh i think it's everything because if you don't have a positive mindset you're not even going to be able to get up and go to the gym mm -hmm. um so even if you're not feeling too positive about going i can assure you that once you get to the gym um and you start working out it's positive because you're going to be gingered up you're yeah. going to see people there that will encourage you you're going to see, you know, the complete um, ambience. And we're quite competitive. You get to the gym. There's, there's a lady in my gym, for example, that's 65. She is mega strong, mega strong, yes. So, you see, you're going to meet people who will inspire you, who will keep you going, and yeah. who will tell you that, you know. And even when you're working out, you know, you hear people say, go on, go on, go on, and they're clapping for you, you know. So all that really makes your head space really clear and, you know, and positive. And for me, anyway, let me talk for myself. Mental health is so key. And, you know, if it's not, in, for me, I can't do anything if my head is not clear. Mm. I can't do anything if, if I'm going through that dark space. And I'm sure everybody feels the same. So That's to get it. out of that dark space, for me, it's exercise. Whether it's walking, even if I'm walking and I've got my walkman on, it's fine. It'll do the same thing. Yeah. But when you work out and you carry weights, that's a different kind of buzz, I can assure you. Did you, know, did you hear what you said? You said your walkman. When was the last oh, time? You know that's <laughs> my age. That's how old you are. That's how old I am. Oh my goodness! Your headphones for the youth. So. That's calling out my age right there. Yes. And I don't. I don't think you actually mentioned mentioned your age. You're actually fifty eight. Correct. Yes. You don't yeah. look. You yeah. don't look it. Totally Thank amazing. Wow. Oh, come on. Um, <laughs> Well, so talking, I was also going to say, and I'm sure that you don't, there are days when you don't feel like going to the gym. You don't feel like exercising, but you do it because it's become a lifestyle, right? Correct. So there are days when I wake up, I open my eyes, and there are days when I don't make it. I don't make it. I'm like, I can't do this. But 
those days have become less and less. But yes, of course, humans. There are days when, especially during the rainy season, who wants to go in the rain to out? You know, we just had the rain. But again, I had a, I have somebody who's in the gym who I know is waiting for me. I have an accountability partner who is now in the gym. I've right. made a network, a community of, of women there my age who we inspire one another. And I know they're waiting. And again, I think to myself, if I don't get up, my routine for the day is not going to be the same. Mm. It's just not going to be the same. I'm going to be grumpy. I'm going to be moody. I can, you know, I won't be able to stress and then I'll start panicking and all of that. So it's better that I go and take that energy out of some equipment, right? And work out and then come back and face my day. So, <laughs> so many days, do you, do, do you go on Sundays? I mean, Sundays you go to church, I believe, but do you still no. do exercise? No, no. I do Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Okay. So Saturday yeah. is great. So lastly, what message of encouragement and motivation would you like to leave uh, for our ladies, especially those of us that are 50 plus? Okay. So I'm going to share something with you. I went on a holiday and I did my medicals this a few weeks, about three weeks ago. And I was a bit worried because before that I hadn't been for a while and um, my numbers were not too good. This was before my journey. And my doctor took a look at me. She said, wow. The numbers, nothing to worry about. I was shocked because, you know, I had all the lifestyle things that you could think of. And she said, what are you doing? And I said, I work out and I carry it. She said, whatever you're doing, just keep on. So for me, that is it. Now, I know it's one of the hardest things to do to incorporate exercise or to start. But what I would say to anybody who is struggling, just start with something. Sit in front of your mirror, on your laptop, get a trainer online, get your bottles of water, start with something. There are loads of classes online for beginners that don't stress you, you know, just march in on the spot and you will gradually build it up. Even if you dedicate 30 minutes of the day and then build it up to 30 because they normally say 45 to an hour. Start with 30, start with 20 at least. Mm -hmm. But the key message is start because the older we get, it, it gets harder yeah. and our bodies are not as, you know, they're not as young and as youthful. They can't do all the things. They're slowing down. So what we're doing with exercise is we're moving them back, we're replenishing, we're making them not slow down, but at least slow the process of them slowing down, slowing down gracefully. So please, for anybody who is struggling, just start. Just start. And I, I love that. It's just start. And what we said earlier on, get your body moving, move your body. And especially those that um, work nine to five or even sometimes nine to nine, you know, you can't sit in front of your computer every day not moving your body get moving you have you just you just have to do something you know mm. we're not spring chickens anymore and unfortunately the lives that we live you know most of the food we eat now is processed food we're drinking all the wrong things we're eating yes. all the wrong things you know yes. all the you know so you have to move your body if you don't move your body and you're eating all that junk it is just a matter of time before all these lifestyle ailments will catch up and then what is it going to be a, a, in your latter years? You'll be on all these medication. No, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to be house housebound or bedridden. But that's what's going to happen if you don't move, if you don't oil your joints, if you don't go out and work out. You know, we are aging, but we don't need to age fast. We can age gracefully and we can be agile and we can be happy as well. And we don't have to suffer from depression or anything like that. And, you know, one of the videos that encouraged me, you posted um, a video, of, I think she was 89. Oh, it's a something year old woman on your page that was yes. running up and down. Yes. I got yes. yes. Amazing. Amazing. That's where I want to get to. <laughs> so, yes, and I to post it. And yes. And, the, you know, the, really, there's no excuse for age anymore. I mean, back in the day, everything was, oh, you're too old. Oh, you're too old. But now we know that age is just a number. We know that we can even start all over again at 50, yep. 60, 70. Yep. I have seen 80 year olds who have just started going to the gym and they're doing so well and they're weight training. So I thought to myself, so Joyce, what is your excuse? You have no excuse whatsoever. You need to get your butt up and start working out. And I can tell you, it's been, if not one of the best things that I've done in my life has been to find this lifestyle of fitness. It's, it's, I'm um, truly, I thank God every day that I found it. That's the truth. That's the, I guess that we can, even though we're not happy that we had COVID, but that was one of the benefits. Absolutely. For me yeah. personally, that's one thing I, I don't forget. Yes. Wow. Because I'm not sure I would have if I if COVID yeah. had come. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Thank you so much, uh, Joyce, for coming on to share your story. And um, I look forward to having you back again yes. pretty soon. Thank
Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.